official spectator sport of the Kentucky Derby, fashion watching. And that's not by accident. When Colonel M. Lewis Clark, founding father of the Derby, came up with the idea for what has become the two most celebrated minutes in sports, he envisioned a grand event, one that would attract celebrities and dignitaries all turned out in their finest fashions. Early photos of the Derby show men in suits and fedoras, ladies in long dresses, gloves and hats. The Derby was established as a style spectacle from the very beginning. Fashions at the track evolved with the times, and by the 1950s, there was a heavy injection of glamour. Hats got bigger, heels got higher, and dresses made a comeback. Things predictably loosened up in the 60s. Hats disappeared from men's heads, while women's dresses got much shorter. The 70s brought the leisure suit, maxi dresses, and mega hats to the track. Big hats and over-the-top statements defined the derbies of the 1980s. Stars were seen wearing huge hats, slinky dresses, and high heels, and they set the tone for a day of competitive dressing up, which hasn't really changed. Fascinators, smaller, sculptural headpieces began appearing in the 90s, and the trend has stayed fashionable. They now account for about a third of the hats seen at Churchill. Almost everyone, from celebrities walking the red carpet to college girls sitting on blankets in the infield, steps up their style game on Derby Day. And although high heels are the shoe of choice for women, the most memorable fashion moment every year may be the walkout of the 